نعم واليوم بإذن الله تعالى سننظر في هذه المصطلحات أو المفردات نعم we are going to look at these uh, vocabularies or these words or مصطلحات these terminologies which are used in Arabic language especially when we are talking about the Arabic grammar the first one as you have it is معرفتون معرفة معرفتون when you are talking about معرفة you are talking about the alif and lab so when you talk about ma'rifa, you are talking about the alif and lam precisely. There are al ma'arif al arabiya. There are some things that can form al ma'arif. Firstly, Now, so, بإذن الله تعالى سننظر في هذه المفردات. We are going to look at these uh, these words that you have on this on the screen, and these words they are very important that we should understand them. The first one is معرفة. When we are talking about معرفة in Arabic, we have what we call المعارف. These المعارف are about seven or eight in Arabic. When you talk about ma'rifa, it means definite, something that is known. For instance, when you say demand, when you say demand, it means the man I'm referring to is known to you and to me as well. If I should say yasir, that yasir is known by you, it is also known by me. When we say he, it means that person that we use that pronoun, Domir for is known to you and known to me. So all these things are used to form ma'arif. And the basis of ma'arifa is that alif and lam. Whenever you have a word preceded with alif and lam, or when attached to it, alif and lam, it means it is definite name. For instance, we can say al baytu It means the house. That house is known. Huwa Al Ustadu Filibeti. Al Ustadu Filibeti. The teacher is at home. It means that home is known to you, it is known to me. Al Imamu Fil Masjid. The Imam is at the mosque. Al Muhandisu Fil Ma'amal. Al Muhandis. What is the meaning of Al Muhandis? The engineer. Fil Ma'amal. Al Ma'amal means lab Ma yes Ma a place where we walk is called ma'amal amalu is work amilun a worker ma'amal workshop al muhandisu fil ma'amal so al muhandis is known is definite likewise we have something that is called nakratun nakratun the symbol of Nakaratun is Tenuin. You can have the Domatan, Fatihatan, or Kesrotan. So any word that is having Fatihatan, Kesrotan, or Domatan is called Tenuin. For instance, where you look at Beiton, you can see that Beiton as Domatan. Beitin, Kesrotan. Beitan, Fatihatan. So any word that has fat, uh, domatan, kasratan, fathatan is called nakira. And nakira means indefinite. For instance, when we say ja'a arrojulu, ja'a arrojulu ilal ustavi. Ja'a arrojulu ilal ustavi. What is the meaning of that? Ja'a arrojulu, the man came to the teacher. To the teacher. You can see demand the teacher. Demand the Amen. teacher. Al Rajul. Al Ustad. It means we know the Ustad and we know the Rajul. We know the man. But if I should say 
jaa rajulun ila ustadhin what is the meaning of that jaa rajulun ila ustadhin a man came to the teacher not the teacher ustadhin din ustadhin Ustazun, Ustazin, Ustazan, it has ten win. It means it is Nakra. Ustaz is Nakra, Rajulun is Nakra. In that case, there is no Alif Alam in Ustaz. So we don't say the teacher, we say a teacher. Ja a Rajulun, a man came, Ila Ustazin to a teacher. We can also say, Ja a Rajulu, the man came, Ila Ustazin, the man came to a teacher. And we can say, Ja a Rajulun, a man came, Ila Ustazi, to the teacher. So here the teacher is known, but the man is not known. So that is Nakira. So Marifa means divinate, Nakira means indefinite ma'rifa we have alif alam or it can be alam which is proper now for instance when you say muhammadun muhammad is a proper noun yasir is a proper noun david sin is a proper noun eric sin is a proper noun siraj is a proper noun so it means every proper noun is a ma'rifa Improper noun is nakra. For instance, rajulun is nakra, is indefinite. Kalbun, a dog, is indefinite. Qittatun, a cat, is indefinite. So I hope you understand ma'rifa and nakra. Naam. Naam. In Arabic grammar, we also have what is called mubtada. They call it al mubtada wal khabar. Al mubtada wal khabar. What is al mubtada and what is al khabar? Uh, mubtada is the subject. What about khabar? Uh, uh, predicate. Predicate. Uh -huh. So when we say mubtada, it means the beginning of a sentence the topic of the sentence, the focus of the sentence. Why khabar, the predicate, is the information about the topic, about the subject of the sentence. And muqtada will be ma'rifa. Muqtada should be ma'rifa. And khabar should be nakra. Khabar should be nakra and ma uh, muqtada is ma'rifa. For instance, when you say al-baytu wasi'un, it means the house wasi'un. What is the meaning of wasi'un? Mm, spacious. Spacious. The house is spacious. The subject here, the topic of the matter, the focus of the sentence is al-bayt. Wasi'un is telling us about the house. And that wasi'un is the khabar. Why al is the subject, which is the muqtada. For instance, yasirun rajulun. Yasir is a alam, a name of a particular person. Yasirun Rajulun. Rajulun is common noun. Rajulun. And you can see that Rajulun is having ten ways. So Rajulun. Yasir Rajulun. Yasir is a man. So Rajulun is the khabar. Why Yasir is the subject. That is the muqtada. Is the muqtada. Al-Ustazu 
waqifun. The teacher is standing. Al ustaz is the muptada. Waqifun is the khabar. Is the khabar. Al madrasatu, the school. Baytu la ilmi. Baytu al ilmi. Al madrasatu is the subject of the sentence, the muptada. Baytu la ilmi. Baytu means house. Al ilmu means knowledge. Baytu la ilmi means house of knowledge. So baytu la ilmi, that is mudaf and mudafu ilay. And the ashibu hulu jumula. But jumula is al madrasa to baytu la ilmi. So baytu la ilmi is khabar, the predicate. Why al madrasa to is the subject. Muhammadu Rasulullah. Muhammadun Rasulullah. Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. Muhammad is the muqtada. Rasulullah, mudafu wa mudafu ilayhi, is the khabar. Is the khabar. Allahu ahadun. Allahu Ahadun, Allah is one. Allah, Muqtada, Ahadun, Khabarun. Al-Islamu, Salamun. Al-Islamu, Salamun. Al-Islam is the ma is ma'rifa and it is the Muqtada. Salamun is Nakra. So, Islam is peace. Adinu Yusrun. Adinu Yusrun. The religion is easy. The religion Yusrun. The deen, the religion is easy. Adinu Muqtada. Yusrun easy. Which is the khabar. I hope it is clear. Yeah. Now. Part of what is important to know in Arabic grammar is what is called sifatu and mausuf. Sifatun and mausuf. Sifatun can also be called na'atun. You can see na'atun. Na'atun. Then the mausuf can be called manu'ud. Manu'utun. Na'atun and manu'ud. Na'atun and manu'ud. That is shifatun wa mausufun. Shifatun means adjective. Adjective. Shifatun. Mausufun means the qualified word. Sifatun will tell you about a word. Mausuf is that word that the adjective is describing. That is the described word. It's mausuf. Na'atun means sifa. Man'ut means mausuf. For instance, if you say, Rajulun kabirun. Rajulun kabirun. A big man. Imra'atun Saminatun. Imra'atun Saminatun. You know the spelling of Samina? Uh, Sin, Mim, Ya, Nun, Ta. Saminatun. Saminatun. Imra'atun Saminatun. Imra'atun Saminatun, a fat lady. Imra'atun Saminatun. Then you can say Rajulun Nahifun. Rajulun Nahifun. Nahifun means slim. Nahifun. Rajulun Nahifun Imra'atun 
Saminatun. So Rajulun, Rajulun, Nahif. Rajulun, a man. Nahif, thin or slim. Slim is telling us about a man. So slim is the adjective, which is the Nahif, is the Sifa. Then Rajulun is the Mausuf. Imuratun, Saminatun. Saminatun is the sifa, na'atun, the adjective. Imra'atun is the manu'ud, au mausuf, is the word that is qualified. So this is part of what you can have. So in our example here, we said, baytun abiyadun. Baytun abiyadun. You can see, baytun abiyadun, which means a white house. You know, in the US over there, you say the White House. So we say, Al Baytul Abiyadu. Because of that D, we are going to add Ali Falam in Al Bayt. We are going to add Ali Falam in Al Abiyadu. You can see Al Baytu Al Abiyadu. Can you see? No. The White House. The White House. Then the next one. I hope that is clear. Sifatun and work mausuf. Adjective are the word that it qualifies. Then another term which is very important is Modofu. And Modofu Ilehi. Modofu and Modofu Ilehi. Idofatu. Al Idofatu. Adofa. When you say Adofa, it means you join something to another. That is the meaning of Adofa. Adofa means you join something to another. So when you now say mudafu, it means something that is joined to another. Then mudafu ilayhi, something to which other is joined. Let us see. Baytullahi. What is joined here? Allah. Wa bait. Uh -huh. You can see baytun and you see Allah. So you join bait to Allah. It means Allah possesses the bait. The bait is possessed by Allah. What is possessed is called modof. The possessor is called the modofu ilayhi. Kolamu yasirin. Yasir spen. Kolamu yasirin. Yasir spen. Daulatu Yasiri. Daulatu. What is the meaning of Daulatu? Daula. Daulatu. Daulatu. This is Da. Dau. Daulatun. Mm, I can't. Daulatun means country. country. Daula. Mm -hmm. So Daulatu, you can write it. You can write it. Mm -hmm. I say Daula to Yasirin. Yasir's country. Have you written it? Daula no. to Yasirin. Have you written it? No. Mm -hmm. Daula to Yasirin Al Amrika Al Amrika Yasir's country is America. Yasir's country, Yasir's country is America. Daulatu Yasirin 
al amrika al amrika have you written that naam barakallahu feek so daulatun mm -hmm. daulatun, daulatun. Yes. Uh -huh. in that case because of mudaf and mudaf you don't say daulatun anymore you know you so you don't say baytun lahi you say baytu mm -hmm. whenever you make idafa whenever there is idafa that word that has tenwin you will change it from tenwin to ordinary haraka if it is fatihata you change it to fatiha if it is kasrata you change it to kasra if it is dumata you change it to dumma you don't say baytun lahi you say baytu you don't say daulatun yasir you say daulatu daulatu yasir mm -hmm. that is mudafu and mudafu ilayhi the first one is ma'rifa which means definite and you can form definite with eight about eight things but here we have mentioned only two the first one is when a word is having alif and lam which means proper noun that is ma'rifa every proper noun is ma'rifa every word preceded with alif and lam is ma'rifa then nakra nakra is when you have a word with tenwin domatan kesrotan or fathatan the mubtada is the subject of a sentence for instance the boy is good the boy is the subject is good is the predicate so you say al waladu hasan the boy is good naam then al khabar is hasanun that is khabar we have domatan or kasratan or domatan mostly the khabar domatan it is the nakra then mubtada and khabar you have al bayt wasi'un so al bayt mubtada wasi'un khabar then you have sifatun and mawsuf adjective and the word qualified so adjective in arabic we always come after the word as opposed to what we have in english you say in english good man good man a good man but in arabic you have man good man good in arabic in english you say good man but in arabic you say man good a man good means rajulun hasanun rajulun hasanun waladun salih good child child good child good because you say waladun which is child hasanun good opposite and sifa and mawsuf notes whatever they call it at tabaiya at tabi that is if the sifa one of them is marifa that is having alif and lam the other one should also have alif and lam al baytu al jamil the beautiful house if one is nakra the other one should be nakra you say baytun jamilun then al baytu al jamil if one is plural the other one should be plural al rijalu is plural you want to write something and that and that's for the the rajulun uh, sif, um, sifatun sifat, sifatun uh -huh. sifatun 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 yeah if it's an adjective and the um the the noun that's being um described uh -huh. they follow yes. everything they follow uh -huh. exactly yes, exactly yes exactly for instance if one is muanna the other one should be muanna imra'atun jamilatun rajulun Jamilun, Imraatun Jamilatun. 
نعم هكذا then you have the mudaf ilayhi the possessor and the possessed baytullah qalam yasir qalam yasir ismul ustadi ismul ustadi are you not baytullah what happened to bayt it does not have ten wing what happened to allah it end with kasra qalam you don't say qalam qalam yasirin what happened to yasir it end with kasra ismul ustadi what happened to al ustad it end with kasra ismul ustadi the teacher's name zawjatu zawjatul muallimi zawjatu al muallimi wa hakadha barakallahu fikum wa hadhihi al mustalahat muhimmatun jiddan these mustalahat are very important to know and as we say that in learning grammar we have to simplify everything just for you to understand for instance we mentioned in mudaf and mudaf ilayhi two things have to be noted the first one is that your mudaf should not have nakra your mudaf should not have what nakra no. you don't say baytun lahi you so you don't say qalamun yasirin that is the first thing about your mudaf your mudaf should not have what not anyway it should not have ten wing the second thing is that your mudaf it is if it is jamu salim mudhakkar like muslimuna that noon at the end should be removed if you want to add muslimuna to any other word as idofa you have to remove that noon you only say muslimu for instance i want to say muslims of nigeria i don't say muslimuna nigeria i say muslimu nigeria muslimu nigeria so that is the thing you need to note have full tenwin wanun you have to remove the tenwin and you have to remove that noon i hope that is clear in the uh, jama jama um that would be uh mudakkar salim so take it away you can write that rule in any language that is more clearer to you just yeah. note it the yeah. tenwin take it away from the mudaf then the mudaf if it end with the noon of jama take that noon away in you the the 10 wing we're only removing one For letter now the the 10 wing like uh baytun we're only removing one letter we're exactly you remove one vowel okay. it it remain two yes. for instance muqimuna muqimuna salati muqimuna salati means those that establish prayer but in arabic you don't say muqimuna salat you say muqimu you take away that noon you say muqimu muqimu salati then the second thing is that the mudaf ilayhi has to take kasra it has to take kasra baytullah qalam yasir ismul ustadi you can see so that is the rule then for the sifa and mawsuf we said if one is mudhakkar the other should be mudhakkar imra'atun salihatun rajulun salihun you understand yes. now these are things that you have to know ali baytu al abiyadu the white house baytun abiyadu a white house so these are things the basic things you need to know that's why i said we need to simplify the nahw so that people understand it better not by memorizing because this what we have said 
is what you are going to meet in those Arabic books talking about all the subjects. So for you to understand it is more important than to memorize the rules. Once you understand it, you read it somewhere, you read a book, you are able to understand it. You want to write, you are able. You want to speak, you speak correctly. The Sahaba, they never knew what was Nahu, what was Sorfu, but they learned it in the native way because they understand how the principles are applied. They never learn the principles, but they learn the application. So may Allah is our fears. Barakallahu feekum. Hal min su'alin? Hal min su'alin? La. Ma fi su'al. Asalullahu subhanahu wa ta'ala. An yubarika fina wa an yuyassira umurana wa an yuwafiqana ila ma yuhibbuhu wa yarudah. Barakallahu feekum. Wa